Yo, yo, I'm a funky fed ladder monkey boy here, welcoming you back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last part, we, uh, well, in the last two parts, which since I recorded them together, we did a lot of crazy stuff. We, um, saw the return of Groos, we fought the Imprisoned for the first time, we, uh, fixed Scrappers so now we can bring stuff down from the surface, and then we, um, unlocked the Thunderhead, a, uh, sep another part of the sky, and we came to the Isle of Songs, and we basically, now we know what to do next in terms of the main quest, but we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be doing some side quests because I figured we should do whatever we can in the sky now before we go back to the surface. Now the first thing we're going to do is, as you can see, um, I actually still have a um, goddess, I still have a goddess um, chest that needs to be um, opened inside the Thunderhead. And wait, is that is that one actually on the Island of Songs, or is it? Okay, so it is. So. That's interesting. Is it the one on the top or is it the one on the bottom? I guess I should check the top first since... Okay, so it's not the top one. Oh well. There's, there are two um, goddess chests on the Isle of Songs. There's this one up there and then there's also one on the bottom. Which let's just kind of just... Okay, let's... Okay, I, I guess we're going to be skydiving to it, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's... I guess we'll... Let's just continue skydiving. Okay. Let's just do that anyways over here. And we can finally open up this goddess chest. Now I'm pretty sure the goddess cube I hit to open this. Okay, sweet, we got a gold ruby. That's pretty awesome. But I'm pretty sure the one that we hit to get this was the one that was back in Elden. Because uh, when I came back from Elden, I, I, I'm pretty sure I hit five um, goddess cubes in Elden, but I was only able to open three of the goddess chests. And then the one of them I did find was in Skyloft in a part that we can't get to, in like an inaccessible part of Skyloft. And then the fifth one I couldn't find at all, so I figured it had to just be in a part of the sky that we couldn't get to yet, and or we couldn't even see. And given that the Thunderhead is the only part of the sky that fits those that fits that criteria, I figured it had to be this, so um and when we finally got it, these things are enemies. They do like, uh, like half a heart if they hit you. They're as long as you like stay away. From, you can't kill them at this point in the game. Just sort of ignore them, and they'll go away, and everything will be fine. So anyway, the first place we're going to be going is we are going to go to Pumpkin Landing. And here we are at Pumpkin Landing. Now the reason that I wanted to come here is because now that we have the harp and we know how to play it, sort of we can do the third and final, um, like, minigame slash, I guess, sort of chore to, um, repair the chandelier. I believe that I can do this now. Let's take, all right, yep, he's got the, um, little speech bubble. So let's see what you got. What should I have you do work on next? You've got the interesting looking instrument. I mean, it's, it's called a harp. Apparently it was the goddesses. So, okay, wait till nightfall and come back to see me. That's... Cool. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's the goddess's harp, so I wouldn't go around disrespecting. I guess he didn't really disrespect. No, no, he sort of did. He said, like, get a funny-looking instrument thing. Anyway, to make it night out, we can just come over to this bed over here. And yeah, I mean, I know it's not our bed, but Link doesn't really care. And people of Skyloft are pretty open. You can just use their beds, and uh, I guess there aren't really any, like, diseases or anything around. So you don't have to worry about, like, getting a disease from using someone else's bed. Anyways, uh, now we can talk and let's see what you wanted me to do that's a strange okay he, so he did call it strange looking yeah I told you that's the goddesses you better not be disrespecting it that thing probably costs more than your entire shop or whatever this place is I guess it's more of like a tavern but anyways we have to play the instrument and we're gonna do terrible because I'm really bad at this like this is the one that I'm the worst at I mean the the delivery one is pretty self-explanatory. The pumpkin one I did in like 10 seconds, and it, that's just sort of like a trick. But this one is just, you basically have to um, sort of play the harp with pretty decent accuracy for a pretty long time. Uh, so anyway, we have to basically accompany this person who I guess is the tavern owner's... Okay, oh god. Alright, uh, let's do this. So, um... Basically, oh, no, I'm, I'm already doing it in the wrong order. Alright, so let's stop over here. So basically, you want to, like, do it at the same way that those, like, guys are, like, waving their hands. 
Okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose this so badly. So anyway, you see those like two guys just sort of like swing it the same um, way that their arms are going, and um, just hope that you get lucky. I'm pretty sure you already messed up, but um. Dun, 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 dun. And then when they um do nothing, you sort of have to freestyle. Okay, so now you just go like rapidly crazy whenever. Okay, dude, shake it! Come on, you got this, you got this, man. Okay, now we're back to the original one. Come on, you got this. I, 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 I guarantee I already lost it. And yeah, she's singing beautifully. Oh, dang it, they like tricked me. Okay, then they did like, like I know that they do like a quick one. Like they go slow, then they do a quick one, but I guess I forgot when they do the quick one. Isn't it like now? Okay. Ah, oh, they did it like once. See, and this is like long. You just have to like. Oh god. <laughs> I hate these guys. Can they like do it like at a regular thing? Okay, I think it finished. Let's see how bad we did. What? Come on, man. That was amazing. That was high quality. I thought it would sound a lot better. When you play. I learned how to play this thing like a day ago. See, and then they hated it. So now we gotta do it again, and I'll probably fail it again. When the blue sky was it. Well, it wasn't even that bad in my... I mean, it was pretty... I, I, I knew I'd have to redo it. But, um... Alright, let's talk to him again. I'll play one more time. Oh, I finished it. Let's see if they liked it. Lame! Did you like it? Okay, they clapped. Alright, that's good enough. I guess you could call that playing. Sort of, hey, I wouldn't be talking with that terrible voice of yours. I mean, all she's going just like, la, 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 la. Like, I mean, come on, you didn't even sing more than one, like, voice or something. Anyways, um, anyway, that's the end of this quest. We paid them all off. And, uh, what's the reward for doing that? It's actually kind of ironic. Yep, another piece of heart. A piece of heart. We ended up in this mess because we wanted a piece of heart. And we got a piece of heart for, um, finishing it, which is pretty cool. Okay, so now I just made it morning, and once you made it morning, you get this pretty awesome cutscene. I guess during the night he um replaced the chandelier that we um spent, and it's a lot more fancy now. So I guess he can thank us for learning how to live extravagant. Let's see what he has to say. Come on, <sighs> I've done that so many times. Hey, Hardwick, you got a lot done for us. I mean, if you say so. You're always welcome here as a handyman or a customer. I mean, I guess this guy sort of. Put, takes us off the hook, you know, for breaking his stuff. He seems pretty chill about it now. What does he have to say about the chandelier? Think of the new chandelier. It's pretty nice. Pretty thrifty, you know? No, not thrifty. What's the opposite of, like, thrift? I guess extravagant. Yeah, it's pretty extravagant. Like, I like how he's trying to show off his... I, I guess it'll probably attract more customers. I'll give you that. And anyways, um... Wait, can I, um... Wait, can I actually make money playing the harp? Only does performances at night. No, I don't. Actually, I don't want to play that harp ever again. I mean, I have to play it, but um, I don't know. I mean, I do like the concept of basically making it rhythm-based as opposed to like just note-based. But I am terrible with rhythm, so it doesn't really bode well for me. Anyways, the next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna do um do some gratitude crystal stuff, and I just I just pulled up my um gratitude crystal list. So let's see, um. Can we do this? Okay, so apparently I can't give Fledge any more steroids until after the next dungeon. Um, can I do this now? Okay, I can do that one. I can do that one. And, okay, that's it. Alright, so the next place we're going to actually be going is another... Uh, okay, actually, uh, we're going to be going to an island that I don't think I've actually shown off yet. That is near the entrance to Lanayru, and I will meet you there. Uh, here we are at the entrance of Lanayru. I'm just showing this off so I can like give some perspective. Oh, I, did I just see Scrapper? Is that where Scrapper hangs out? Nah, no, it's just a bird. Okay, I, I thought I saw this, like Scrapper going around, but never mind. Anyways, uh, over here, if you keep going, there's uh, this island over here, and you can't even see it yet because I'm 
still not close enough. But once you get close, you'll see that it's a very colorful island, and that color is only there to hide the pain that it'll cause me later on. But for now, we're going to get some gratitude crystals. So I guess it's College of Happiness. Anyway, it's right over here. Now you can see it much clearer. It looks like a big like party. It's like a carnival or something. Anyways, we can um come and land on it. And let's talk to this person. Well, I don't think we've actually talked to this person yet, but this person looks a little um sad. I don't know, yeah, uh, yeah, he looks a little sad. He looks a little creepy, too. So anyway, he's gonna be like, no use all over. Uh, honestly, I don't want to help this guy, because he's gonna cause me so much pain in a later episode. But, um, anyway, he says that he lost his party wheel, whatever that is. And, uh, I guess, look for it. How am I supposed to get something that fell beneath the clouds? I swear, Link should literally, as I said, make a public announcement. There is stuff below the cloud. You can go to it simply by jumping into one of the three portals. And uh, that's... And pretty much all these people will just stop saying like all this stupid stuff. But anyways, um... Now we can douse for the party wheel, which is what we need to pick up for this guy. Yeah, Landon Linnaeus does it. I, I've actually already shown off where the party wheel was too. Uh, yeah, putting smile on children's faces, yeah. There, there won't be any smiles, I guarantee you. But anyway, let's, um, I'll, I'll just sort of show how to douse it. Can you, like, select the other, alright, there we go. Anyway, it's somewhere down there. Uh, I'm not gonna do another flashback like I did last time. I'll just, um, I'll just cut to where it is and you'll probably recognize it. Alright, so here we are in that section of Linera where, like, if you... I basically landed at, um, Desert Entrance, which is the first... Um, bird statue that we hit once we exit the mines then you like climb up the vines and you like come over to this section Like down over there is the chest that um had I think a goddess um, Plume in it. Anyways, if you come over here, here is the party wheel. I pointed this out earlier But I don't think anybody really would have remembered it I, I don't think I would have remembered maybe I would have because I mean it's not like they really tell you what this stuff is when you First see it you, you can't even like interact with it because you don't have scrapper yet anyway just grab this thingy and we get to see Scrapper come back. And I still want to know where Scrapper's heading. I really thought that was him flying. And I guess I was just being delusional or something. I guess, guess no, that's not where I, delusion isn't the right word. Um, hallucinatory is the right word. I thought I saw something that wasn't actually there. Delusion is when you have a false, but it was when you have a false. I, I guess delusion sort of works too. But, um, the point is that wasn't Scrapper, and I will meet you back at the guy who wants the party wheel, and we'll get some fun stuff. And we are back at, um, the, um, this island. It's called Fun Fun Island, I guess I'll just tell you that now. And we have our party wheel, and for this, um, very sad person who I guess needed the wheel, and for some reason... I'm not really sure why this person was so attached to, um... It looks like it's like a big scrap of metal that somebody like painted a bunch of junk on. Like it seemed like it would be easy enough to replace. So, anyways, um, I guess I guess this person wears it on his her back. I can't even tell the gender of this person to be honest. Anyways, um, person realized the dream of opening Fun Fun Island. So, uh, anyways, now we get them um, five gratitude crystals, which is nice. But the other thing, as I said, this opens up a mini game called. Uh, I don't even remember what it's called, but this mini game is pretty notorious for being one of the hardest slash most rage-inducing mini games in like the entire series. And apparently, I'm just gonna do this now because I get to do one for free. I'm not gonna go for this now because um, I, I haven't mentally prepared yet for um the atroc for the atrocity that is this. But um, but you get to do it free once, like you get to do it for free as soon as you do this. So I may as well um. May as well capitalize on it. So here's what you do. Basically, it's a skydiving mini game, and uh, yeah, the loser space. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the loser space. I guarantee it. Uh, it's a game of luck. Yeah, L luck doesn't even really begin to describe it. But um, yeah, fortune rings. Blah blah blah. Okay, whatever. Here are the dodo balls. Reset your multiplier. Yeah, do this person his name is Dodo, which I, I guess makes sense because like the dodo bird is like extinct and like Natasha being stupid and this person is pretty stupid to me I don't know so anyways let's do this 
Uh, like I said, I'll try it once. I'm not gonna come back to this for a while, cause I I just don't want to do this now. I said I'd like do everything as soon as possible, but I really hate this mini game, and uh, keep saying it's fun. It's not fun. There's nothing fun about fun. This is like it's like the Joker's idea of fun. Like it puts the laughter in manslaughter. You know what I'm saying? Stop talking! Oh my God! How long are these instructions? I, I think I might have accidentally like hit read again, but. Oh my god, leave little guy. Even so, actually I don't think- Okay, no, I didn't re-hit the instruction. That person just talks for an inane amount of time. Anyways, uh, anyway, here's how this minigame works. You jump into the can and then you have to skydive. And, uh, so basically you jump and you go in the sky and there are gonna be some rings to pass through on the way down. As you can see, uh, you have a multiplier at the top. Every time you go through the ring, you, um, the multiplier increases. Now, going through the rings isn't the hardest thing. Okay, never mind, it is the hardest thing. If you hit any of these, um, dodo balls, like you said, it resets your multiplier. Um, okay, I guess I'm not going through any of the rings, but I am hitting all these balls. I'm not gonna get anything. I hate this mini game. Okay, I, I might get this one. Anyways, um, to get the grand prize, which is a piece of heart, you have to hit all of the multipliers. And a multiply, which will bring it to 10. Then, as you see, the bottom is completely spinning. You have to land on the um, space that's blue and red. In addition to having to have flown through all the rings, which, I mean, I completely failed. Since I only, I only landed in one, and then I landed on the one rupee space, so I got a grand total of two rupees, which is lame. But anyways, like I said, to get the grand prize, win 500 rupees plus a piece of heart, Fly through all five of the rings, don't hit any of the dodo balls, then land on this one space. This one space, and this thing is spinning, so you can't even really tell. You sort of have to, like, approximate it, and then just hope you get lucky. Like, it took me hours to get this the first time, and I wasted so many rupees. Anyways, like I said, I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, I, I, I just don't want to do it. Like, it's, it's ridiculous how hard it really is, and may, maybe I'll get super lucky, but I guarantee I won't, and I'll just fail over and over and over and over and over and over and over but uh for now let's just um continue on like I, the only reason i really wanted to go there was just so i could get the gratitude crystals because there are five more gratitude gratitude crystals i can get and they add 30 gratitude crystals i can go back to um Batrix. i think that's how you pronounce it but i could be wrong and we can get some more stuff so that's pretty hype now uh the First thing I'm gonna do is we're actually gonna come back to the bazaar because I finally got that a uh, hornet larvae. So at the very least, I know I can upgrade the beetle and I might be able to upgrade some more stuff. And I've got money, so that's pretty cool. I'm actually considering maybe saving up for the um, what's it called, the life medallion. So that costs 800 rupees, but uh, it costs money to upgrade your items, even if you have the um, even like in addition to the fact that you need to have the. Uh, treasures, so that's kind of lame, but oh well. Anyways, let's upgrade. Let's see what we can upgrade. Okay, I'm gonna go for the beetle first because I know I can. Okay, a slingshot. Okay, dusk relics. I'll be getting those soon enough, so I'll be able to upload the slingshot very soon. And anyways, uh, first thing let's do, we're gonna upgrade the beetle to the um quick beetle, and that's pretty hype. The beetle you can actually upgrade twice more, like in addition to this one, so I might be able to upgrade it one more time and I'll have like the ultimate beetle. And that's pretty helpful because the beetle is the beetle's one of those items that you're just gonna be using like the entirety of the game and the better it is. So um you upgrade to the quick beetle. Basically the quick beetle just goes faster. And then um can I actually upgrade the quick beetle now? Let me see. Really? Really? BRB Alright, I have the ancient flaws. I can't believe both times I wanted to upgrade the beetle. I was one treasure away, and it wasn't even like a hard treasure to find. I mean, they're just ancient flowers. Like, they're pretty easy to find. Just basically, to grow on ancient flowers, I'd suggest um, basically landing at um, the like mining entrance in Lineru, then basically just taking the path to the desert entrance. Because there are four ancient flowers along the way, and I was only able to pick up two of them, but I mean, that's like, like sometimes, like sometimes they'll appear and sometimes they won't. But if you do the whole path, you, sh you should have a pretty good chance of um, getting, getting at least one, and I only needed one. 
Anyways, uh, that was the end of the beetle. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, can I do the? Okay, I still can't do the slingshot. Can I put the shield all the way? <sighs> no, I'm not even gonna bother. Honestly, every time one away. Okay, one away for two things. Whatever. Uh, the only one thing I really wanted to upgrade was the beetle because I knew I could. Um, what else do you want to do? I guess he may as well progress um this side quest because um why not? Uh, basically, the, every time you go in the bazaar, just talk to this person, and over time, it'll basically progress, uh, so we want to get rid of, um, I don't know, I'll just, um, I'm just gonna put this in here, and then I'll take it back out and put it over here and finish, and she'll be all like, thank you, come again. Alright, cool. Uh, actually, one thing I do want to get, I may as well get now, is let's, let's get another, let's get another bomb bag, because... Uh, I just realized I didn't actually have a small bomb bag. I thought I thought I was gonna like get one in one of the goddess um, chests, and I'm pretty sure I still will get one in the goddess chest someday. But um, not today. Anyways, uh, there we go. Taking a little bit of placing in your purchase in your pouch. Yeah. All right, sweet. And um, I guess I may as well see if I can upgrade the bomb bag because so it's always nice to be able to carry more bombs. You know, I mean, what's life when you can't? hold any bombs when, when you like can only hold five and you want to hold more <sighs> I hate I hate this upgrade like this is like the worst RNG I've ever had like being one away over and over and over okay because this guy has something to say weird room apparently after knife over here woman sobbing in the dormitory oh is that so gives you the big guy like you the creeps well, actually, that's a um, good segue into the next thing we're going to be doing. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting the final um, gratitude. Or, I mean, they're not the final gratitude crystals. The final gratitude crystals I can actually get right now. Uh, can I actually do this here? Can I get something cool? Let's just try it. Probably not. I just saw, the, I just saw like, the blue butterflies, and I thought maybe they'd let you, like, like maybe there was, like, a goddess um, chest around here. But, um, okay, I guess not. Oh, well. Thought I may as well check. But anyways, we're going to be um, doing the last uh, Gratitude Crystal segment that we can do right now. And it's actually interesting since there are, there are actually two separate outcomes, each of which give Gratitude Crystals. Now, um, I did um, copy my save file, so I'll be able to show off both. But anyways, it starts off by, um, okay, I, I guess I have to, um, I guess I have to uh, talk to the um, mysterious figure who they just sort of mentioned first, and then I'll be able to do it. So I'm going to make it night real quick. Okay, so um, it's night time, and I'm um, somewhere around here is the bathroom. Okay, there's Groos. Groos is still in, on the surface. Okay, it's over here. So if we get close, um, we'll hear this. And coming from the bathroom, which is pretty interesting. Ooh, somebody please help me! I think I think Luigi is stuck down there. And as you can come in the restroom. Ooh, paper! Please, someone bring me paper. Bring some paper, any kind of paper at all. Which I guess, I guess that's a pretty um strange request from a ghost is to want paper. I guess, I guess it's supposed to be like a homage to um a Majora's Mask with like the person in the toilet who wants paper. But anyways, uh, I guess I'll go and make it morning. And I like every single time I come in here, I see that one gratitude crystal. It's like I want to get you, but I want to get them all at once, so it'll be better for the video but oh well anyways it's now morning and I was talking through that so I won't cut that out but now that we've talked to um the um mysterious um person in the toilet I believe now we can talk to um okay yeah here we go so now we got this guy is um he's got the bowls over his head so you talk to him and he'll be all like hmm should I give it to her should I not give it to her <laughs> ah! <laughs> link you don't sneak up on me like that so anyways, this guy's gonna say he has a um, dilemma, and because we're just the good Samaritan we are, and we like helping people who, for some reason, I think, bully us, despite the fact that we're uh, probably twice this guy's height, and have a sword, and also are probably a higher level since we've got, like, the knight's clothes, and this guy is still wearing, like, the, I don't know, undergraduate clothes, anyways. This kid's just like snob. He had like he had a bad upbringing or something. Anyways, so he gave us paper. Now, of course, if remember, um, 
Okay, and it didn't just pants to show you, but the person in the toilet also wanted paper. So, this is where there are two things you can do. You can... You can give the paper to the ghost, or you can give it to the person who he wants you to give it to. And depending on which person you give it to, uh, both ways you will get your five gratitude crystals. But the way that you do, but the, like, I guess the method that you get it is different. In both ways you get, like, a pretty, a pretty funny, um, turn of events. So, as I said, I'm going to be doing them both. So, I, we won't read it. I don't, I don't know if Link can read. No, no, he can read, because he always reads those signs, but I, I, I don't know. I don't really know what I was going for there. Okay, yeah, don't mess it up. Maybe you'll be my sidekick. Um, buddy, uh, l let me just take a second. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking down at you. Look at him. I don't, I don't want to be a sidekick to a guy with, like... I mean, look at him. I, li I like how he thinks that he's better than me when he clearly isn't. Anyways, the person we have to give this to is... Okay, it's not the old woman, but apparently she... Okay, so she's talking about the whole restaurant ghost thing also. Uh, okay. One of these, like, rooms the, um, person is in... Okay, can I... Did I, like, just get lost? Uh, okay, how do I get out of here? Okay, there we go. Uh, it's like... What, it's not like a bedroom. It's one of the... Okay, it's this classroom over here, I believe. And the person is, um... Somewhere. Okay, here she is. And they said her name is Karain. I probably pronounced that wrong. So, oh, Pippin, how can I get you to notice me? So she also clearly is in love with someone who isn't the person who we were just told to um, instruct you. I wonder if you heard what I was just talking about. Of course I was. Do you need something? Don't give up. That means you're a strange one, aren't you, Link? I was going to say, how does, how does that, like, refer to anything, but... I really want to know what she'd say. Anyways, um, now we'll do the um, other thing. Uh, Link, okay, so this person is more like, like, I'd say that these people are probably the same age, and then that Colin guy is probably a few years younger. But anyways, um, letter for me? Yeah, here you go. So as I said, here's the first way, um, just take out the letter, and uh, I wonder who it's from. And she, okay, I don't think she actually opened the letter. Maybe she's like, Superman has like X-ray, but she has terrible handwriting. Okay, not all of us are good at have good handwriting. I mean, I was one of those kids who like had b really bad handwriting. I'll just leave it at that. I still have bad handwriting, but I mean, I type most stuff anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> and then she's just like, "Wow, it's Colin, guys. Isn't he one of Groose's flunkies?" Yeah. Hey, don't be dissing the Groose. The Groose is cool, even though he's mean, but he's cool. Y you'll you'll see. And I have to say, he really put her heart into it and everything. Maybe I should consider going out with Colin. Okay. Like, I guess she likes little kids. I wonder what Piper would think if he knew about this. Well, um, why don't we go ask Piper what he would think. Okay, well, actually, do I have to talk to Colin first? Okay, I do. And let's see what Colin has to say for I'm um, doing it. What you actually did, of course, dude, Link has, like, infinite balls. Like, he will do anything. He's like, um, the, from, like, the vacation movie. Like, what, what's her name? Like... Debbie, whatever her name was. Do, do anything, Debbie. That, that's what it was from. Did anybody ever see that movie? It was a pretty terrible movie, but one of the characters who was, like, currently, like, a mother, basically, like, in her college years, she used to, like, she would do anything, and then they, like, had this whole list of disgusting stuff that she did, including, like, having sex with the principal. She, like, burned down, like, a heart, burned down, like, some, like, building or something. Oh, this is a big problem. And we talked to, um, this super snooty guy who, um, we who our mom is our employer for washing the floors. I think, yeah, that's his mom. Anyways, um, he's just gonna spout a bunch of garbage about, um, how he wants to, um, he wants to, um, actually date the person. But, like, when we can't... I'm not wrong about this, am I? I don't know. I don't, I don't even... I didn't read. You got more important things to worry about. Yeah, like, you know, saving the world. But anyways, basically... Okay, I may as well do this now. But basically, the person at the b bottom floor, Koran, before we came in, said she was in love with this guy, Pipet. But then we gave Colin's letter, and now Pipet's upset because I guess Pipet loved Koran also. But now I'm um, Colin's gonna come, and I guess we're gonna see um which person uh Koran chose. You're the one who sent the letter. Yes. He looks like he's gonna like crap himself. He's so scared. Wonderful love letter. It wasn't that great. Yeah, he probably like wrote it like in his sleep or something. Uh, what, what, what's your answer? My answer? Ah, my answer. I like how he's like, I like how he's like begging, but then like his expression is just like he couldn't care less. Wait, 
And now we've got um, Knight in Shining Armor. And Link is just sort of watching. I think you should go out with me instead. I mean, I want to ask you. <laughs> These people have, like, no social skills. They're just like, hey, I want to ask you out. Wait, um, do I even know you? I want to go out with Pipet. <laughs> See that you fool? I knew she would choose me. She's been checking me out for weeks. Oh, uh, wait a second. Wait, uh, why did you choose the one, um, clearly, um, guy with superiority complex over the guy who actually wrote a love letter and probably actually probably has more feelings but I, I guess it's because of like the age you know I mean th these females they always go for like the okay and he's I guess he took him voice acting from Groose but yeah these like older girls they always go for like the older jock guys who have like all the money and are popular they never go for like the undergrads who um get bossed around by a guy who isn't even around anymore anyways long story short we got five gratitude crystals pretty awesome and uh, BRB, and we will see what happens when we give the paper to the mysterious person in the toilet. Alright, it is nighttime. I have the letter, and it's time to give it to the quote unquote weirdo in the restroom. So, let's see what we're gonna do. So, anyway, yep, yep, I have paper, and I got. I think, I think Link is doing like a pretty big, um, public service favor here since um apparently the only way to unlock the bathroom here is to have paper and if Link didn't do this if you have to go to the bathroom at night I, g I guess you're out of luck because um the hand in the toilet won't allow it so yeah this is obviously a reference to Majora's Mask where like you have like the hand coming out of the toilet and you get some good stuff for doing that anyways uh, let's let's give our letter away you need paper I'm not angry I just need some paper uh why I mean, I mean, the other person, it looked like there was, like, a person stuck in the toilet. But here, it's just, like, a disembodied hand. So, I have no clue why this person wanted paper. But, uh, here you go. Now, the thing I really don't understand is, like, is paper, like, some sort of rare commodity in Hyrule? I mean, this is a school. You'd think that Link could just find, like, a scrap of paper somewhere. And then he could give paper to the person in the toilet and give the love letter. And we could have got, and we could get double gratitude crystals. But... Ah, uh, alas, it was not to be. Anyways, uh, we gave our, uh, we gave his love letter to the person in the toilet, and let's find out what happens. So first things first, let's check on our buddy Call and see what, let's see how you're doing, buddy. Uh, I, I delivered your paper to the girl of your dreams. I guarantee it. You hand over that letter like I asked. Huh? I, 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 I don't remember any letter. You, you, are you out of your mind? You gave it to that creep in the restroom? Yeah, dude, he was desperate. Dude, sometimes we have to, like, compare the good of the many to the good of the few. The good of the many, if you need to go to the bathroom at night, you can use the toilet. The good of the few, you were going to get rejected by an upperclassman and some jock who, um, doesn't like me because I clean his mother's house for money would, would have gotten it. So, I mean, I, honestly, I think I'm doing you a favor. Anyway, then he just goes off and screams the same, um, scream that he screamed before. And, uh... We didn't get any gratitude crystals, which is kind of lame. I mean, the other one I got gratitude crystals, but, uh, okay, yeah, I'm, there, there's a way to get gratitude crystals, obviously. Now, this is something I actually didn't figure out. So the first time I played this game, uh, so I got to the side quest. I didn't know, like, who the person you're supposed to give it to, but I obviously knew that you could give it to the person in the toilet. So I'm just like, yeah, I'll give it to the person in the toilet. Why not? And I came back, and I talked to him, and I didn't get anything, so... Then I actually like had to restart the file, and I looked around for the um, girl, and eventually I found the um, girl you're supposed to give it to, and I was able to finish it that way. But I didn't know for a while how to actually get your attitude because I have this option. So what you have to do is um, you actually have to come to um, Groose's room after all this, because that's apparently where Colin, I guess, sleeps at night. I'm not really sure why he's sleeping in Groose's room. That's kind of creepy, actually. I guess this guy's so obsessed with Groose that now that Groose is gone, he just sort of sleeps there. So anyway, um, and we get, um, this terrifying scene where the ghost in the toilet, who apparently is just like a disembodied hand, is now, um, run, is now possessing this guy or, like, haunting this guy in the night. And, uh, I guess, um, the ghost was really moved by that love letter. So, um, yeah. And now Colin has a new um, ghost uh, girlfriend, or I'm not even sure what gender that is because it's just a ghost. And that's how we get our gratitude crystals. So either way, um, Colin loses. Either he gets possessed, either he gets um, haunted by a ghost, and if you like talk to him in the morning, he'll like say that he's like being haunted or something, or he gets dumb. So uh, it's your choice. Either way, he loses, and one group of people 
a win. So I'm going to make it morning real quick and we can see his reaction. He's going to be like something like I didn't get much sleep or whatever. I don't know. I don't remember the exact quote. And then we can continue. Okay, so it's the next day and I believe we actually have to come back to Bruce's room to find him. I guess he's not just lurking in the corridors anymore. And he'll like say something like, uh, what, what does he actually as he say? Well, what do you want? I won't forget what you've done to me. Ever since you've bought the thing up, I've been having nightmares and can't get any sleep. Just one thing after another. So yeah, so now he's got nightmares. Is his bed cursed? It's Gruce's revenge. Um, and then we had another um infernal um scream. So um, I I don't think Gruce is is doing any revenge. Actually, I haven't even gone to Gruce's room. He has this nice punching bag of a picture of us on it. Uh, I hate my. Okay, wait. Can I actually like do something? Yeah, that's what you get me. Let's just knock Gruce's picture off. We can actually do that. That's actually kind of cool if you can. Uh, you can't. Oh well. Oh, that's what you get, Groose. You, you were mean to me, so I'll get my revenge. It's more like Link's revenge, honestly. <laughs> uh, and I'm back. Uh, I just went and made it day, and well, I guess it was already day, but uh, I'm gonna come and uh, give Beatrix all of his gratitude crystals now. So as I said, we have 30 of them, and 30 is the next reward. So we're gonna get some pretty good stuff just like we always get for these um for the gratitude crystals like the, all the gratitude crystal rewards are pretty great uh, first up we've got a um yep we've got the big wall and now we can hold 1000 rupees and since we have three actuals we can actually hold a grand total of 1900 rupees but in addition to that we also get this pretty sweet chest that um appeared for some reason but when we go to pick it up and he's like no the chest is not to be open under any circumstances and unspeakable inside. Well, I don't care. I'm Link. I want to open it. I opened chest. I said no. I said no! Oh. He calls the infamous cursed metal. Found more rupees than ever before. Better chance of discovering treasures. Make me say it. Sounds handy. I mean, I, I need all the money I can get. Does sound pretty enticing, but... Gets worse. Far worse. He poor soul holds that metal to find himself unable to open his pouch. No matter how badly you want to open your potion shield, they will deny it to you. Uh, I mean, that's not that bad. I mean, I mean, at least I can still use my sword. Anyways, I'm just going to ignore the guy, and I'm going to take the cursed medal because this is the kind of person I am. And you got the cursed medal, and uh, pretty cool. I don't think I can, I don't think I even have, yeah, sent to item check. So, yeah, that was the cursed medal. Um, he's not just going to say, you've done it. Human desires and insatiable fear something. I just wanted to do it just to show what was inside. Sort of intriguing. Probably won't open fear or not. This will only happen when you're carrying the metal. Yeah, that's what I said. You just leave it. Oh, you don't check. So, as he said, the cursed metal, uh, you, I think I mentioned this when I was talking about metals, but yeah, you get, um, like, it basically combines the effects of the rupee metal and the treasure metal which um, make it more likely to find rupees and treasure respectively but then um, you can't use any of your items but uh, I didn't actually ha I guess I didn't have enough room for it because yeah I'm all full with um, other stuff okay no I don't want that um, I'm, I'll sa I'm saving fledge of steroids for another time but um yeah if you but my suggestion is just never have it because I mean yeah it's, it's nice for grinding but uh I, I, not being able to use any of your items is pretty terrible since you can't even get most like things without your you can't even get most things without items anyway because like like if I were to grind for anything there are very few items that you just sort of find I mean I, I guess amber relics you could but like the skulls you, like any and like any treasure that comes from an enemy you couldn't get because you couldn't use your sword to kill the enemy or like anything that you need a bug net to get you couldn't get you can't like cut grass or anything but yeah, I just sent it to item check, and honestly, I just got it for, like, completion purposes, so I can, like, say I've gotten everything, but anyways, that's gonna be it for today. We did some stuff, and we, um, had some uh, high school drama among people who love each other, and then the one nerdy guy ultimately loses, just like in real life, but anyways, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye and take care.